Hey y'all, welcome to 2020. I'm so excited about this year. We have a lot of really cool projects that we're gonna be working on and we're gonna be changing some of the infrastructure around because I got some help. Thank you, thank you. So excited about our help. As you guys know, Sarson is a manager. He's a meat specialist for a food distribution company. I know a lot of you guys see him doing chefing stuff um, and we do that on the side. He is a chef, he is culinary trained, but that is not his full-time getup. And um, um, I need to relieve some pressure on him with the homestead and I need to protect myself too because as you guys know uh, a couple weeks ago I decided to try some stuff on my own and it was just too much so I'm getting some help and these guys are awesome they actually helped us get some stuff done inside the house this year in the fall and uh, I'm really excited to have them work on the projects outside so let's do a little homestead tour for January 2020 and take a look at what we're gonna have changing. So I know I cannot be the only one that has an eyesore on their property, right? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure all of us have like something on our property that we would like to change. And this is my eyesore. It is a goat shed, which is a green part. And it has a garden shed that's attached to the top of it. And then they put a little balcony with stairs. I'm not sure what the function of this was. I have no idea. It's honestly like one of the oddest things that I've ever seen, which I usually love to tackle projects like this, but for some reason I've been having trouble getting my creative brain going on this one. So for now, we are going to um, do some structural fixes that need to be done on it. The siding needs to be replaced. There's some shingles missing on the roof, which caused some leaking on the other side. So we'll fix that too. There's a broken window, which I think um, um, must have happened this winter. I have no idea. With teenage boys, <laughs> the sky's the limit. I'm guessing what happened there. But um, it'll be nice to have that fixed up. I'm going to go ahead and paint it the same color as the house and then stain the wood so that it lasts because I think they did just replace the stairs whenever we uh, bought the foreclosed property last year. So if you guys have any ideas on what you think would make this space cute, uh, let me know. Drop them in the comments below because she sheds can be super cute, right? And I could definitely call this the she shed. And then we do have a chicken coop that's next to it that we're not using. We might turn this into um, a rabbit hutch and it would be part of our agritourism. So again, probably painting a cute mural on that as well. The last thing that I want to do in this section of the property is put in a compost area. Right now we just have what's called a compost pile. <laughs> and it's not doing its job very well. Last time it took us like 18 months, I think, to get our compost done. And that's just way too long. If we would actually be monitoring the amount of moisture that's going in it, staying consistent because we're so dry here and microbes like to have a moist environment to do their job and break down stuff. Um, and then we tarp it to actually keep out uh, the wind as well. So we haven't done any of that. It's just been a pile, a catch-all pile where we put stuff. So we're going to build it out of pallets and I'm really excited to show you guys how that goes because it's something that is um, really a cheap way to do some awesome things on um, your property. First of all, it makes you live more sustainably because you're not throwing stuff away. And secondly, you are not having to go out and buy compost, which can be really expensive. So um, if you do it well enough, you might even be able to share with your neighbors or your friends, or it could be a passive income for you. So definitely stay tuned as we get that project going. Today's project, and this is one that I have wanted to get done for about six months now, is putting a roof on the top of one of the chicken coops that we brought over from the old house. We call this the OG chicken coop. And the reason that it's pivotal to get it done now is that I need to uh, start pairing up all of my chickens so that we have the right roosters with the right hens and produce the chickens that we want to have. So that pen that they're in is going to have my black Americana rooster and his hens, which some of them will be black Americanas, other will be Easter eggers, and we're gonna hatch out some fun babies. Another project that's exciting for us on the homestead this year is to start doing some regenerative agriculture. And that means just repairing the land. And our land is not in bad shape, except for a couple areas that have been disturbed by man. And last year we had a brand new septic system put in. And it brought up a weed called kochia, which is super similar to um, tumbleweeds. 
and it's really good as a young plant. They call it the poor man's alfalfa because it has such a high protein level and the chickens love it. But once it gets bigger, it keeps other plants from coming in and it gets really woody and it has a ton of seeds and it makes a mess on our property. So we're gonna do some work this year to take care of a couple of sections by planting in some seeds that are gonna open up the ground and then start putting some native grasses back in. And I have a super cost-effective way to do that. My guy actually um, is familiar and works with smaller acreage and we only have two acres so if that's something that you guys are interested in definitely let me know I'm going to put his contact information on in fact I'm probably going to do a video with just uh, him and I chatting about ways to repair your land ways to manage um, small numbers of livestock on your property by putting the right kind of seed down and uh it's pretty exciting because I don't really want to change our landscape too much. I don't want to put too many animals on it, but I do want to enjoy and see what the land can handle at the right capacity. Another project that we're going to tackle on the homestead is separating the front part of the property to the back of the property. We're going to be adding a gate here. And if you follow along to this side, you're gonna see our pickup. And then in front of that is where the gate is gonna go. And we still have puppies. Some of them are going home tomorrow and they're out hanging out with the chickens. But the gate will go right in front of that. And we're also gonna build um, two human sized gates and what's called a jump gate. And a jump gate allows for your dogs, <laughs> look how cute they are to go between your pastures without letting your livestock out. So the jump gate will be here and it will also be a human gate and I will be sure to add a photo so you guys can see what that looks like. But here's the other section for the gate, the large gate plus the small gate here. So let's go take a look at the other fencing that we're gonna do on the property. The last major project that we're gonna tackle is a doozy, and it's actually what I'm super excited about. It wasn't something that was planned at all, but it came out of necessity. Gunner, our male Great Pyrenees, figured out how to hop the fence. The coyote pressure has just been so intense this winter, and they're using our driveways as a highway to get from um, one section of land to another. And Gunner just said, I've had enough. You guys can't hang out here and I'm gonna take care of you and started hopping the fence. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what the problem is and how we're gonna fix it. This is the current entrance into our property. It is a full circle driveway. There are gates on the left here and another gate on the right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the fence this way and make a starting point here and come across and have one gate instead of two. So the automatic opener is on this one right now, which Gunner figured out how to pull it open. You guys agree, Pyrenees? They say get one if you wanna see how good your fencing is because they're gonna find all the weaknesses. So we actually have to add an extra latch mechanism that opens first and then releases the gate open because of his expertise as an escape artist. So let's take a look at the Coyote Highway so you guys understand why this dog is trying to get out. And then I'll also show you where he's hopping over the fence. The Coyote Highway is right behind me. So it's here, you can see this road that is behind me. This is our corner fence right here. So they actually come down this part of the property and then make their way down this road, which is our driveway. All right, so here is where Gunner, he's leaving his evidence behind here, is getting over the fence. You can see his hair right here. And at first he was just using that stump right there and the battery pack for the automatic gate to hop over. And then he quickly learned his strength and has just been hopping back and forth on his own. We definitely don't have a problem with coyotes being a part of the ecosystem. It's how it goes, but we want to protect these little guys. <laughs> Hi, Jigger. <laughs> Hi, Mac. And you know, these little babies and whatever other livestock we have is important to us. And I don't want the coyote saying, oh, look, there's bunnies. And then also turn around and saying, oh, look, there's puppies. Or, oh, look, there's sheep. Or, oh, look, there's chickens. So keeping them at bay 
is definitely an important part of uh, how we manage our homestead. You better watch it there, puppies. That is it for the start of our 2020 uh, projects overview. And I really hope that you guys are able to come along the journey with us. Please make sure and subscribe down below. Um, and also please comment because if there are other things that you want to see and know that we're also going to be sharing seed starting and all the other usual projects that go around the home setting, we'll be talking about uh, raising chicks, collecting eggs. Uh, we're going to do a lot of events and we'll cover those around the farm too. We're going to do workshops, different things for people to come and enjoy our place. Agritourism is the homestead word for 2020 on our place and I am so excited to share that journey with you guys. Are you excited for our journey? Are you excited for 2020? <laughs> Gunner, are you excited? Runa's excited. <laughs> and all the little fuzzy puppies are definitely excited about 2020. <laughs>